We are conducting a study of the bat population in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park to understand how white nose syndrome, uh, which is an epidemic disease that's killing bats all over the eastern United States, we're curious about how white nose is affecting bats in the park. Prior to white nose syndrome, the northern long-eared bat was the most common myotis we would catch in western North Carolina or eastern Tennessee in the mountains. It's a very common species, however, post white nose syndrome we're seeing hardly any of those bats and we haven't captured any of them tonight. The Indiana bat is a federally endangered species but in certain areas we know we can capture them and the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is one of those places but we have yet to capture an Indiana bat this year. So this is the clean side of the table, this is the dirty side, so when we handle bats... Each individual bat can consume between half and all of its body weight in insects each night, and so they can make as a colony a pretty significant impact on uh, the insect populations. So surely there's going to be a change in the insect populations as a result, which could mean changes in our forest health and also just changes in bugs that are a nuisance to humans or to our crops. Holy mackerel. I know, I was going to save him for you because he's kind of... Did you see that? Uh, I can see it from here. <laughs> yeah, Bats are also just really awesome and it's important for people to understand that. They definitely serve a, a unique function in our ecosystem, so... They're really pretty good. We're really interested in seeing them having healthy populations.